The Department of Veterans Affairs operates 200 specialized PTSD treatment programs across the country, serving more than half a million veterans from various conflicts. 30% of Vietnam veterans have been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, as many as 12% of Gulf War veterans, 11% of veterans in the war in Afghanistan, and 20% in the Iraq War. It's estimated that even more veterans are not seeking treatment at all because of the stigma surrounding the diagnosis. Colonel Greg Gadsden, a recipient of the Purple Heart, lost both legs in Iraq. He also struggles with PTSD and has made it his mission to combat the stigma and encourage veterans to get help. Retired Army Colonel Greg Gadsden, a former athlete and a war hero, is now on a new mission. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Colonel Greg Gadsden. He's a motivational speaker with motives of his own to encourage veterans to get help dealing with the stress of war. For veterans, what I want to say is, look, we're always out there for each other, but you've got to take the first step. Display the courage, the courage in some cases that you've displayed in all your military career to go get help. Gadsden knows all about summoning that courage. After his last tour, he suffered from post-traumatic stress. He was reluctant to get help. Why did you find it so hard to really believe that you had post-traumatic stress? It was not something that I could identify with. You know, as, a, as an athlete, as, a, as an officer, as a leader, we're trained to, to override pain, to override uh, doubt. He had a lot of pain to override. Gadsden was in Baghdad in 2007 when a roadside bomb exploded. He was blown right out of the passenger seat. Both his legs were amputated above the knee. He had permanent nerve damage, limited function in his right arm. Gadsden underwent 22 surgeries. He was in rehab for 18 months. When he got home, he couldn't shake the emotions of that day. The effects were dramatic. You're a football player, you're a leader. I mean, we're all these sort of almost stereotypes, right? Of like right. the tough guy, all capital letters. And you can say macho if you want yeah, to okay, say Yeah, OK, I'll uh, say macho. I mean, you know, how much of your reluctance to get help was that this macho stereotype was kind of going to stand in the way of that? Probably 100% of yeah. it. I mean, um, every tough challenge in my life I fought through and and that's what I and so I was committed to to fighting through it again and without help I was very surprised that of the one in five people who get diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder like half of them don't get treatment right a massive number just do what you did right for more than a decade, our country has been at war. There are efforts underway to address the public's stereotypes of veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. Got Your Six, which means got your back in military slang, works with the entertainment industry to educate the public about veterans. Bill Rausch is executive director and a veteran. 83% of Americans believe that veterans are more likely to have mental health issues, for example. Well, that's simply not true. When someone says veteran and post-traumatic stress, they automatically think, oh, crazy veteran, uh, active shooter. You know, they automatically jump to these really, really horrible, destructive and inaccurate stereotypes. VA Secretary Shulkin. I do not believe that there's an association between violence or other activity that would endanger people with PTS. How do you combat that stereotype? Yeah, I think, I think it's a matter of talking about it, getting people to understand what's going on, education, um, making sure that people are sensitive to the condition. Gadsden is now being treated for his post-traumatic stress. He also uses photography as his therapy. You never use the word disorder or the D in disorder. Why not? Well, um, the D to me is, it's a negative label that doesn't need to be attached. We all have some level of post-traumatic stress. Does it make us dysfunctional? For most of us, I would say not. 